the future of modern warfare revolves around unmanned systems, both on the ground and over it. Rosaboron Exponent markets the Euron 9 Unmanned Combat Ground Vehicle UCGV, for the former and has been developed to fulfill various mission roles including reconnaissance, infantry support, particularly in urban environments, and counter-terrorism actions where risk of life is high. The vehicle was developed and is manufactured by JSC 766 UPTK and has been taken into service, in limited numbers, by the ground forces of Russia. The vehicle showcases a boxy appearance with an angled glassy plate and near-vertical sides. Side skirts protect the upper reaches of the track link sections though the road wheels remain exposed. The drive sprocket is at the rear with the track idler at front. There are six road wheels to a hull side. Headlamps provide illumination in low-light settings and an optics fit is seen at the glassy plate. Additional equipment is carried atop the turret which sits atop the forward section of the hull roof line. All of the armament is installed on the turret which provides a full 360-degree traversal. At the front plate is the 30mm 2A72 automatic cannon offering a good counter to light and moderately armored vehicles at range while also serving as a very capable area suppression weapon against infantry. To either side of the turret is fitted a pair of 9M120 Ataka anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, for countering armored threats at range. The 130mm Ataka Saklos semi-automatic command to line of sight. Missile is a product of the latter Cold War period and sports a tandem heat, high explosive, anti-tank, warhead for maximum penetration upon impact. The armament suite is rounded out by the six Schmel M thermobaric rocket launchers with three seated above each Ataka launcher fit. These 93mm rockets provide additional firepower against both vehicles and infantry at range. In June of 2018 it was revealed that the Uran. 9 has been deployed in active combat alongside Russian army forces in the ongoing Syrian civil war. A post-action report detailed several major deficiencies in its showing there, particularly in operator communications being cut off from the vehicle after certain ranges. Additionally its running gear reliability was called into question.